Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Eldridge. I would first like to start out by thanking our Founder and Chancellor, Dr. Rod Parsley, and my Professor, Pastor Edward Ramirez, for this wonderful opportunity to be able to preach to you today. I apologize if it's a little bumpy. I'm in the car on a road trip, but I still have a word from the Lord for you today. And my sermon title is I Forgive Me, which is also uh, the title to a really good song that I'm going to give you the lyrics to at the end of my sermon. So I have a couple verses for you today. Uh, Hebrews 8.12, it says, For I will forgive their wickedness, and I will, will remember their sins no more. And then the other one is Psalms 34, 4-5. I sought the Lord, and He answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to Him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. And that was Psalm 34, 4-5. through 5. And I just want to talk today about forgiveness. I think a lot of people preach sermons about forgiveness, but they forget one of the most important things is forgetting yourself for the things that you have done in your past. And you know, God and, and the people who, who, who are the authors of the books in the Bible, they write a lot about forgiveness and forgiving yourself and how God, God literally sent His most prized thing that he has to this world because he loves us so much and I've preached about God's love um, but God if God can forgive us of everything that we've done after he sent his son to literally die for us then why can't we forgive ourselves of the things we've done uh, we we always talk about going up to people and, and saying I forgive them to be able to get your healing and and but, but we forget to look in the mirror and say, I forgive you for, for doing this and I forgive you for doing that. And I think we always blame ourselves for everything that's happening in our lives because, well, God's punished me because I did this and God's punishing me because I did that. No, God is a loving God. If you forgive yourself, God doesn't even like he forgets all about it because you are his you are his daughter. You are his son and he loves you. And I, I really like Psalm 34, 4 through 5 because it says, Those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. So if you're always looking looking to God, then you have nothing to be ashamed of because all you see is holiness. All you see is God's goodness. All you see is your Father. And there's nothing to be ashamed of because he is a, a holy and clean and righteous and wonderful God. And I that just kind of hit me as I was reading it. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. You can always tell when somebody's hurting because they don't have a radiance. They don't have a joy and in their eyes. They don't have that look. Uh that they're just in love with God. And so we should always be looking to God, especially in a time where we're, where we're feeling sad and a time where we're feeling like we're not good enough. If we look to God, then we'll never be focused on our, on our problems. We'll always be focused on God's goodness and what he's doing for us. Um, but forgiveness is a hard thing. Like everyone always says forgive and you're like, well, I don't know how forgiveness like when you have bitterness that is a weight on your shoulders it is a weight on your chest and it will it will hold you back from all of your blessings it will hold you back from from walking in truly who you are because if you have bitterness in your heart based on what you did or what somebody else did to you there, there's never you're never going to be fully you because you always have part of your past living in your future and so let go of the past the past is, is what it is. You can't go back in time. That's not a gift that the Lord has given us. But what he has given us is the gift of grace and the gift of forgiveness. So if there's something in your life that's been bothering you, if there's, if there's something that you did that you just can't stop thinking about, I want you to go and look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you are loved and you are awesome and you are forgiven and you have God's grace and God's love on you and that you don't have to live in your past anymore but you can move forward in the blessings that God has for you you can move forward in your anointing and I have done things in my life that I don't regret because I have been able to have a testimony that has set others free that has touched other people so never be ashamed of who you are never be ashamed of what God has brought you out of never be ashamed of what you've done because because what you've done and what you've been freed from gives you an anointing for the future people that God is going to put in your life. But you have to be ready and, and your wounds have to be closed. And you can't, you can't be thinking about all the bad things in a, in a bad way. You have to be thinking, oh, God brought me out of that bad thing. So I'm just going to encourage you to, to go look yourself in the mirror if there's something in your life that you haven't forgiven yourself from. Just get in a, in a place alone with God and just help him walk you. Let him help you walk you through it.
because it's not an easy thing, but God will get you through it. God will get you through everything in your life. So I encourage you uh, today. Uh, you are loved, you are forgiven, and God's grace covers a multitude of sins. Have a wonderfully blessed day.